the changing world thereof is where we start. Spuds, they keep coming out of the ground in random sizes, but buyers, it seems, become more and more selective. Plenty of people want little ones, seed potatoes, then there are wares, they're the sort of mid-range variety. But it's the big ones that are really interesting, the lumps as they're called. Long, thin lumps for the French fry industry. Short, fat lumps for the baking business. It's the baked potato, which is the real growth market these days. But up to now, bakers and fryers have proved difficult to sort automatically. However, here is a remote control unit attached to the latest generation of British potato sorter, which should be able to cope with the problem. A basic test, first of all. Let's get it running. Off it goes. Walk through to the warehouse, and we can see that my colleague, thank you, sir, is putting random potatoes in at this end. And if things are working well, and you'll be able to see before I can, out at the other, we should be getting seeds, little ones in the middle, the big ones on the right-hand side, and the mids, the wares, on the left-hand side. Well, award your own marks out of ten, but it seems to be going fine. Now, how does it work? Well, the system depends on a television camera mounted right at the top of the sorter, which looks at every potato passing under the lens. Let's switch the machine off. Thanks. We can uh, take a look at the uh, similar setup I have here in Peace and Quiet. Here's the camera. It actually scans just eight lines, and it can pick up how many lines each of the potatoes in front of the lens cover. The more lines, the larger the potato under examination. Fed to a computer, an image like this can be generated. You see, here's our small potato. Its width is upwards, its length is horizontal. So here is the longer, thinner, where, there's the very long and thin French fry, and there's the longer and fatter baked potato. So, that's how the new sorter operates, but let's set it a real test. Let's see if it can tell the difference between French fryers and bakers. And that involves a little reprogramming of the computer. Right. Finger trouble here, and we could all be in difficulty. Are we set? Activate the machine again. Off we go. And this time, if all is well, we should have everything we don't want coming out of the centre lane. Plenty of those we can see. All the fryers coming out of the lane on the right. And the bakers, there's one, the ones we're really interested in, coming out of the left. Well, the baked potato is a hot seller already in America. Test marketing in Britain is showing it could go the same way over here. But the real prize will go to whoever it is can develop a machine capable of telling the difference between fryers and bakers. We might have seen one.